this star project should change my view of universities as they are more interesting and branch out to lots of types of projects. I know a lot more about research and the qualitative and quantitative uses of it. For example, research can be something as little as Googling and can also reach to an extent as far as generating knowledge of something on a massive scale, e.g. research for a new cancer cure. Research is a factor of everything we know, as, in a way, before we know these things, we need to establish whether something is true or not, and to delve deeper into this new factor or figure. I decided to do this project because it was something different and I wanted to try it out. It was better and more informative than I had anticipated. I would strongly recommend this to other schools as it's a big opportunity and really fun also. Our group's question was, how does music influence people's learning? We used a quantitative research method and observed a year eight class where music was playing as they did their work and took notes not only on their behaviour but their teachers too. In addition, we handed out a questionnaire for the participants to fill out. However, the teacher had a different questionnaire to the pupils as they don't do the work. One of the most important things in research is that you have to make it clear that they have an option to participate or not. Fortunately, a lot of people wanted to take part in an independent project. The experience with students as researchers group has taught me a lot about what research really means. It has taught me about qualitative and quantitative research, <coughs> what the difference between the two is, and how to conduct research in the two types. We got the chance to make up our own question to research, collect the data, and evaluate it to come to a conclusion. We also got the chance to go to university and use the resources to <coughs> our projects. Our group decided to research the question, how does music affect people's learning? We researched this by putting relaxing music on in our Year 8 English class. We then observed it using our observation sheets and gave questionnaires to the students and the teacher. The project was extremely fun and I would recommend it to other schools. It was an interesting educational project that is very useful and has certainly inspired me to go to university. I really enjoyed taking part in the Student as Researchers project and I would recommend it to anyone in the Cabot Learning Federation as I feel it has helped me in many ways to broaden my knowledge and understanding of research, and I know it has been the same for other students taking part. When I first heard about the project from Mr. Jones, I decided to try and enter. I wanted to learn more about the research conducted at the university and the life of Bristol University itself, along with different techniques and ways to gather and process information. The group has done all this and much more. Firstly, it has helped me understand much more about the types of research used, mainly divided in quantitative and qualitative data collecting, and when it is appropriate to use them. I learned how to create different types of questionnaires and ask questions correctly in an interview, and how to apply research to any situation. Also, I learned much more about university. Since I would like to become a scientist, research plays an important role in my life, and I think university does too. Even though I already had my mindset on going to university, the recent STAR project trip to Bristol has cleared a lot of questions about how life really is inside the university. Now I feel much more confident about my career in school and beyond, and my view on university is clearer than it was a few months ago. I worked along with Celine and Marie and Sammy to find out how music affects people's learning in class. Since we all shared a passion for music, it seemed like an interesting and appropriate question which appealed to all of us. We decided to observe a year eight and a year seven class while some relaxing and calm music was played. Unfortunately, there was no year seven class that was put, that put up to do this, but we still observed a year eight. We used a qualitative method by coming up with two anonymous questionnaires, one for the teachers and one for the students, in which we asked some general questions about what they thought about music in classrooms and some questions about what they had experienced in the class as music was played. We also observed the class and got some extra verbal feedback from the teacher. And as we have learned, as we have learned, not being able to, to do everything you want in research quite ha might have happened quite often. And this is no reason to give up or proceed without consent. And I thank the teacher who took part for her collaboration. The results found are quite interesting. Around 60% of the 30 pupils found the music relaxing and ideal for a working environment. Mainly, the 18 pupils remained, that remained said that they thought the music helped them concentrate and work, but they, but they gave a negative response to the questions, did you enjoy this lesson, and 
do you think the music helped your learning? Because the music played was not exciting and they did not like it. The teacher, on the other hand, wrote that she often plays music in her classroom and that she finds it appropriate to a certain extent, depending on the class and task given. We also observed the class and saw how after the first 30 seconds of excitement and noise, the class seemed to settle into a quiet, peaceful atmosphere. From our results, from the results we found that music helps the pupils learning and focusing, but only if the music played is appealing to the specific person, and it can be quite difficult to pick the right music for each class. I would like to thank the teachers that have followed us through the project since they have helped us all so much during the few weeks. My experience with Bristol University was an advantageous one, which was also highly enjoyable, increasing my knowledge about university. The experience I'm going to talk about is the library, which remains vivid in my mind. What we did there made me feel more self-assured and confident about applying for university as it doesn't sound as daunting as it did back a while ago. Whilst in the university, the librarian acquainted us with information we didn't know, such as the positions which you are able to gain in university, and that the highest one you can receive is doctoral. She also informed us that to be university students, you have to be assiduous and have an absolute strong will to face it all. Whereas before, I was not sure if I was absolutely ready or not. I felt so much more ambitious and have a resolute determination, and I'm ready to face the challenges in the university when the time comes. I also gained some insights in some academic research using the university website, having some perception from other people who also did some research. This was beneficial as it provided some more information for the research. I was able to extract information and analyse it in a logical and critical way. On that day, I also learned what qualitative and quantitative meant and the difference between the two, making us have a conversation deciding which one would suit best for our project. My project was about how parents put pressure on children and how do children react, which was better to use qualitative methods with interviews. And we chose this project because we desired to see how we are able to improve children's education since they are the future of tomorrow. You should join the research group because it is fun and rewarding, suitable for most students having a sample of what university is like, further broadening your knowledge and your perspective of the world. Over the period of three terms, Perry, Vanda, Abby, Sue and Emma have conducted workshop sessions with myself and my fellow students. Observations made during these sessions have proven invaluable as an insight into the detailed level of research which is undertook at university. I aspire and hope to fulfil my aspiration of going to university by acquiring the relevant qualifications to enable me to make this transition. The experience of visiting the University of Bristol and working with the doctorates and researchers from the university has been thought provoking and has raised my ambitions. As a result of my experiences as part of the research group, the evolution into university seems a natural progressive step in furthering my education. And I realise how detailed research is at university level and I shall aspire to replicate such. My research question was, how does the school facilities affect people's education and learning? This question was then subdivided by nine interlacing, interlacing questions in order for us to procure quantitative data for anal analysis relevant to the main question. To do this, I distributed the questionnaires within my tutor group, each, pers each person being asked to use the key illustrated, to, uh, the key to answer the questions. And um, number one was yes, two, possibly yes, three, undecided, four, possibly no, and five, no. I analysed the data by counting the participants' answers and arranging them into a frequency table and obtaining a percentage from this table. After this, I made a pie chart illustrating the results. Below these graphs, I wrote a short passage explaining what the results suggested that analysed whether the correlations were positive or negative. Uh, thus far, the results have been extremely positive and conclusive, with the exception of a couple of questions which were ambiguous. I would recommend the STAR project to any school in the Cabot Learning Federation in the hope that Perry, Vanda, Abby, Sue and Emma can help influence and inspire other students if they have me and in doing so directly raise pupils' awareness of the work executed at university level and raise the aspirations of young people in schools towards higher education.